Hi, I'm Hilke, and welcome to my World Machine tutorial series. In this video, I will talk about four of World Machine's generators, being the constant, gradient, radial gradient, and color device. All these generators can be found in the generator tab. The constant device is the simplest generator of them all, as the only thing it does is create a constant value. It has only one parameter, being the height parameter, which allows us to set the height. As you can see, when changing the height, the whole plane moves because the value is constant all over the world surface. Constant devices are useful for fallback values or, you wouldn't guess it, if you are in need of a constant value. For example, when you need to change the height of a gradient or radial gradient device. Slightly more advanced is the gradient device. Instead of a constant value, it creates a constant slope. We can change the direction and the width of the gradient device using these two parameters. When the gradient's width is smaller than your world's width, you can see the end and the beginning of the gradient are at minimum and max height. The third parameter, tiling, lets us choose between the tiling modes. By default, the gradient device does not tile. However, when we set it to linear, we see it goes up and down creating a zigzag wave. When set to discontinuous, it creates a sawtooth wave. The tiling will go on infinitely in both directions. The gradient device can be used to create slopes, or it can be used for a blending mask, or as the modulation guide for a traverse device, and the list goes on and on as it is a versatile device. Another versatile device is the radial gradient device, also dubbed the radial grad or the red grad. Now, instead of having a smooth gradient in only one dimension, the gradient device goes all around, creating a smooth hill-like shape. When opening its properties, we see two parameters, the radius and the type. The first controls how big the gradient is, and the type enumeration has five options. The default option, Gaussian, creates a gradient based on the Gaussian function, which, as you can see, is an elegant mathematical function, and the world machine uses the 2D variant of it. An important property of the Gaussian function to consider is it going on infinitely, meaning it never reaches zero. However, because it decays rapidly, after a certain distance, it's negligible. This is why, when using a radial grad with an instant scattering device, you need to decrease the radial grad's radius. So I will give you a quick example of that. So here you see the edges of the radial gradient are not at zero height, but when I decrease it, it becomes almost zero. The spherical type creates a sphere-like shape, and when the radius is set to twice the world's height, becomes a perfect sphere that intersects our world at zero height, leaving us with a perfect dome. Because the height of our world is not variable, the spherical type is not a true sphere at all the radii, hence the name spherical. Then we have the diamond shape, which creates a diamond shape, also known as a four-sided pyramid. The square type creates a square, and when you make the radius bigger than your world width, it becomes a constant device locked at your world's maximum height. And finally, the cone type. This is as if you took the normal gradient device and rotated around one point. The radial grad is a powerful yet simple generator device as it can serve as the source for elevations and then gives you a lot of control over where those elevations go. The color device is the bitmap variant of the constant device as it creates a constant color. When we click on the color in the device's property windows, we are greeted by World Machine's color picker. At the top we see basic colors, then when we're clicking on pick screen color, we can pick a screen color from all over our window or outside our window like anywhere on our screen we can pick a color, which is really helpful if you want, for example, use an image and pick colors from that image. Then, if we have a color we like, we can add to the custom colors with this button. And, as you saw me doing, here we can pick our color, choosing the hue and the saturation and the brightness. Or we can use the HSV inputs here, or RGB values, or paste in hex value which is commonly used on web pages, hence the HTML label for the input. That were all four devices I wanted to go over for this video. Now, let's have some fun playing around with it. As you may have noticed, both the gradient and the radial grad device do not allow you to change their height. An elegant workaround is to connect the constant device to the mask board of either of those devices, giving you a lot of control over their height. Now, the square type of the radial grad becomes a lot more useful.
It's also fun to hook up either of the gradient devices to the color device, as you now can create a color gradient. However, you are limited to manipulating the brightness only. Even though these are relatively simple devices, I do hope you've learned something from this video. See ya!